they know. And we'll tell the world. By now, it's probably no surprise to anybody that we got a birthday number coming up here. Well, it's a surprise to me. I didn't even get a present. Me neither, Big C. That's because it's not your birthday, Nitwit. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> Cheese, folks, I gotta tell you, it's a tough way to make a living sitting up This is Chuck E. Cheese, a computer animated rat with a New Jersey accent. He's the master of ceremonies, leading a troop of puppet like characters who perform a computerized cabaret every eight minutes from the walls of the dimly lit pizza parlor. Company executives claim that within ten years, Chuck E. Cheese will be more popular than Mickey Mouse for their master plan involves 1,000 pizza time theatres strategically located in middle-class communities across the United States. We certainly are, we certainly are. So come on, ladies, hit it. Birthday one, honey bun, won't you be our birthday one? Yes. So far, there are six, with three more under construction and another three on the drawing boards. The idea's already spread to Japan, and it's only a matter of time before Chuck E. Cheese makes his debut in Australia. Wait a minute! That song is making me very dizzy. You want a more traditional approach, Big C? I certainly do, yes. Like what? Like happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. You get it? Got it! All right, but first let's get the actual birthday person to stand up here. It took one and a half million dollars to research and develop the Pizza Time theatres. And Chuck E. Cheese executives like Gene Landrum claim the new concept is years ahead of the more traditional fast food outlets. I believe it's primarily, Paul, the synergism of games, food and entertainment all under the same roof. Uh, we have a concept here where we've married the entertainment of the animals talking, singing, telling jokes, birthdays for groups along with a food which is a very fun food, pizza being the, the perceived as the funnest food where you go out with a group and uh, have a party, and, uh, at least in America. And of course we've married the new computerized electronic games so that uh, the children can play games while the mother and dad are, are drinking and eating, etc. In other words, it's like an electronic babysitter. You can enjoy the illusion of a family night out without having to be bothered by the family. Yet the children then can run off and play games, can be entertained with the animals singing and talking and telling jokes. Chuck E. Cheese researchers say the idea is very popular with workaholic dads who are suffering from what they call YEG, young executive guilt. And when this guilt does drive dad into taking the kids out, guess who decides where they'll go? In this country, it's primarily uh, the child who's making that decision because I think of the guilt orientation of dad being away out of town on business, not spending enough time with the family, and I happen to have a four-year-old, and when she asked me, hey, dad, I'd like to go to the Pizza Time Theater or McDonald's or whatever, you know, I, uh, you know, I have a tough time resisting that. Hello, you know I'm here to make it a pizza, because that's my line. He tells his line. But all things I need to make it a mixture a harder to find. Mozzarella, macaroni, mushroom, and parmesan. Milanese, mortadella, onions, and parmesan. Pizza, pizza, pizza in the air. As for the pizzas, well, they take 15 to 20 minutes to prepare and cook, which gives the youngsters time to get hooked on the electronic games. And to help them get started, free tokens are issued with each purchase. But of course, each game only lasts a few minutes, which means the kids are soon pestering Dad to shell out for more tokens. Dad quickly learns that even an electronic babysitter has to be paid. Exactly. In fact, that's what we found. We have varied statistically trying to figure out what is the spending behavior of the American public. And what happens is uh, when you... Uh, vary the amount of tokens you give them, you would expect to see some changing uh, of the numbers in terms of how much they spend. It seems like when people come in, they have a discretionary amount of dollars that they're going to spend for entertainment. And that doesn't vary much with how much we give them free. Do you get many $5 bills through the machine? Yeah, probably 20% of our revenue is generated through the $5. That's because we are one of the few thing, uh, kind of eating out family concepts in America that's aimed at groups. All right, all right, now, everyone in the audience is going to sing along here. 
We're going to do this nice and simple. One thing we did find, when you have a birthday party, the spending, uh, where it's typically an average of $10, it's higher for a birthday party. And people ha uh, have more discretionary money to spend in a birthday environment or a group environment. As the children sing along with the computer, another version of Chuck E. Cheese is taking shape in the kitchen. The big spending birthday parties get a personal welcome from the supersized rodent. And judging by Chuck E. Cheese's sales figures, the youngsters lap it up. Excuse me, do you think you spend more coming here than you would at a normal food outlet? Yes. How much more? Half as much? Twice uh, as much? Probably twice as much. Do you think you get value for money out of it? Yeah. yeah, the kids love it. So much do they love it that the average family group spends just over $10 here, compared with about $5.75 at more conventional pizza outlets. This one pizza time theatre alone takes in more than half a million dollars a year. And towards the end of the week, customers queue for up to an hour just to get inside, even though the pizzas are much dearer than in neighbouring restaurants. You expect to pay more when you get free entertainment. If you go to Vegas and see Sinatra, uh, you uh, will pay a premium for your steak that you buy. You're not you comparing buy. Frank Sinatra with Chuck E. Cheese, though, are you? Uh, oh, no way. I wouldn't call him an animal. <laughs> In any case, uh, the uh, people are willing to pay a premium. We have raised our prices 15%. The stars at night are big and bright Deep in the heart of Texas The prairie sky is wide and high Deep in the heart of Texas Dolly Dimples, the singing hippopotamus, is powered by a computer system capable of handling 450 instructions per second. Dolly has a repertoire of more than 20 medleys and a bosom that rises and falls with compressed air. The next song is for my second husband, Eugene, who used to ride with the Texas Rangers. He's a long, tall Texan. He wears a 10 gallon hat. He the company's ultimate aim is to create a cutesy fantasy world in every neighborhood, to bring a mini Disneyland to your doorstep, and of course, to help your children spend a lot more of your money. The eyes of Texas are upon you. If you liked what I did then, let's plan on doing it again later. See ya.